this episode of Easy Street Garage, we're going to be talking about TPMS and trailers. Also got some updates for you on some Ford stuff coming out. Stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome to this episode of Easy Street Garage. Man, I am so happy that you're here with me today. And stay tuned, because we're gonna mix this video up a little bit. I've got some news about Ford Motor Company's colors that they're gonna introduce for the season, and then I've, for 2021 anyways. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about car haulers. Prior to the enclosed car hauler that I've got behind me right now, we were running an 18 foot SureTrack open trailer. And guys, I love that trailer because quite frankly, even behind an F-150, I didn't even know it was back there other than looking at my car getting pelted with rocks and pebbles and everything else up off the road. So I'll tell you what we did. We went over, we saw my friend over here, Randy Smith at Smith Trailer. And Randy hooked us up with what we really needed to fit the channel for the future, right? You really only need a 20 foot trailer. This thing, will trailer very well behind your brand new F-250, your Ford F-250 that you've got. And he said, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll put an awning on it so that you guys got protection for the car and then also hanging out at night, cooking your food, doing whatever you do while you're on the road. But he said, here's the deal, man. Let's not cut any corners. Let's stick with the sure track uh, trailer. And I'll tell you why. This trailer is a full boxed frame. And while you've got your Shelby GT350 sitting in here just a little bit below 4,000 pounds, it's gonna be steady, it's gonna be sure, track, and it's gonna handle this load that you're hauling down the road. I have seen guys pull into these meets with these car trailers that they cut a corner on, you know? They go a little bit cheaper uh, because Quite frankly, these are expensive. And I'll tell you what they do. They buy these trailers and the first thing I see is they've got bottle jacks under this corner, they got a floor jack under this corner, and they're trying to make this trailer so that they can get the doors open on it because it's twisting, right? So they're trying to get their escape door open, the back door open, they're jacking and jacking. Finally, they got it to where they can get the car out of there. Don't cut any corners, please. If you gotta save another year, do it, that's my advice, please. Okay, back to the sure track enclosed trailer, guys. It's a 20 footer, the car fits in here perfectly. We've got plenty of room up at the front of the trailer for our grill, uh, all of our coolers, all of our camera gear, everything is up in front. This thing does extremely well. Thank you, Randy, for your suggestion. I'm putting Randy's contact information down below. Please feel free to reach out to him with any questions you have as it relates to your car hauler or any trailer you guys are looking for. Go back also in uh, our archives and you'll see some of the modifications we made to our SureTrack car hauler inside that made it a sure bet to get down the road safely. Now, I wanna say one thing, we did cut a corner. So over the past year, we've been looking at RVs, we're gonna be moving into an RV, and one of the things that I hear a lot about is tire pressure management. And they talk a lot about the RV, but they talk even more about what might be behind, that toy hauler behind that RV. You can't see it. You don't know what's going on with these four wheels and tires that are in the back. And the more I learned about that, the more I thought, I have been neglecting these tires back here, although I checked the pressure. And I know that they're, they're well protected. We cover them when it's not on the road, so the UV stays off of them. I don't know what's going on with my pressure or my temperature related to these tires. So guys, we went out, we bought a TPMS, a tire pressure management system. I'm gonna review that product for you. I'm gonna give you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. I'm gonna give you some other insights of how I came upon this particular brand, okay? But before we do that, let's talk a little bit about what's going on this year, 
2020, I number one, you know the GT350, she gone. It's gone. Not gonna come back, I hope. Okay, so there's the first bit of news. But here's some really cool stuff about the GT500 760 horsepower mean pounding machine that Ford has got. And here's the deal. We've got some new colors. Pretty cool, huh? Going into 2021, first of all, Ford Performance Blue. If you got one, hang on to it because it's gone. No Ford Performance Blue that I could see in the lineup, okay? This the next carbonized gray, and I'm I'm a fan of grays. This grabber yellow for 2021. I had a triple yellow uh, Roush. I really really enjoyed that color. It was pretty exciting on the road. Had some black accents to it. Grabber yellow coming. All right, you want to know about the Mach One? There's a ton of colors coming down the road for the Mach One, but you're gonna have to wait because we're gonna go do that unboxing back in the studio, and we're gonna talk a little bit about. The unboxing, I love unboxings. They're so much fun. We have the uh, the new innovationtire.com TPMS uh, here, and we're gonna get into that. But before we do, I just wanna give a shout out to my friends at Endless RVing. If you're an RV fan, if you love RVing, go check out their YouTube uh, channel. It's awesome. Uh, they did a unboxing and review of this very same TPMS, and after I have looked at probably a half a dozen of these things, I really settled on what uh, what MJ and Izzy said in their review about the uh, about this particular InnovationTire.com TPMS. This thing uh, has a three-year warranty, and I also had available to me a discount code from Izzy and from MJ on their YouTube channel. Uh, again, it's Endless RVing, and uh, it did save me some money, so I appreciate that, guys, uh, from you. Uh, picked this up. Uh, so I spent, uh, with tax, uh, $229 with the discount for this, and that's about $100 less than I saw for some other systems that were a little bit more, in my mind, more complicated than this system, so keep that in mind. Uh, the key factors that we're looking for on this thing is it has a six second burst rate. So what that means to you is that every six seconds, this is checking your tire condition out back and it's letting you know both the uh, pressure and it's gonna let you know temperature of the trailer. So with that said, I'm gonna peel out of the picture. I'm gonna focus in on this unboxing and we're gonna see what we got here. I bought the four tire system. Uh, Man, you can go up to, uh, I think it's uh, multiple vehicles with, uh, I don't know how many tires, uh, sensors you can get with this thing, but it is a boat load. It is wireless, okay, so it does have a six second burst rate, which it reports back to the command center. Uh, for those longer, uh, you know, products that you're gonna be towing, uh, it does have a repeater in here and uh, it takes really what they say is about 10 minutes to install this uh, TPMS. Uh, so with that said, you guys, I did cut the tape, okay? So I cheated a little bit there. So let's get into this thing and see what um, Michael from, uh, from TireMinder sent over to us. And by the way, his contact information is down below. I will say this, I did pay for my uh, TPMS. I always pay for my stuff, and the reason for it is I wanna give you a fair and unbiased uh, review of what I'm getting into. If it doesn't work, then I owe no one nothing, all right? So with that said, uh, let's break into the packaging here. It's packaged pretty well, guys. Uh, so there you can see we've got our, uh, our, our TPMS monitor. And let's see if there's anything underneath here. Uh, okay, we got a box here. So with this box, we've got, um, let's take a look. Ah, we have directions. Uh, we also have a, um, a registration card here. One thing I, I think it's kind of cool with these guys, and, and Michael was telling me, is that they have a lifetime guarantee on the batteries. Batteries last about a year, but he said once you register the product, He'll send you new batteries once a year. So I got the four sensor uh, kit and 
well, believe it or not, look at that. I got eight, I got, I got batteries for, for two years right there. So uh, plenty of batteries in the kit. This is the tire pressure monitor here. And we're gonna look at that and where that goes and what you do with that later on. So we've got those. Got a kit of O-rings. Looks like some jam nuts and a little wrench in here. Uh, I think the wrench is uh, to basically tighten down or jam nut these sensors so they don't come off of your wheel. So we've got that. Awesome, we have a sticker. So this box is equipped with 12 volt charger. Uh, we've got some zip ties. I think the zip ties are gonna be for this 12 volt repeater right here. So we'll talk about mounting up that 12 volt repeater on our trailer. And uh, then also we have our windshield mount. Uh, Straight from Ford on this press release on the Mach 1, eight brand new colors. Well, I don't know if they're all brand new, but we got eight new colors for 2021. In fighter jet gray. Fighter jet gray, man. Of course, grab her yellow. Uh, Just like iconic it. silver and then shadow black, of course. Got it. My favorite. Oxford white, Old twister orange, and then of course race red. And velocity blue sounds like a really, really cool color. So there they are, eight colors. Uh, All cool stuff coming. However, right now, we're gonna dig into this so thing. What they're telling us out of the box is to go ahead and mount uh, this, um, this booster, this signal booster, to really up toward the front of the trailer and, and tap into a 12 volt uh, power source. You got so it just wire tied like they tell you to do. Uh, you need to have the antennas uh, pointing down to the road. There's a reason for that and the reason is that the road acts like a, uh, if you would, just a, uh, a reflector and it deflects then that signal straight back up and back over to the trailer. I want to go ahead and install the batteries into my four TPMS sensors. I'm gonna go ahead and do that with you. Uh, there's a couple key things here to think about while you're doing this. Number one is the fact that there is an O-ring here to help seal the battery in the sensor. They also ship spare sensor or spare uh, O-rings with the kit here. Slide the battery into the sensor and then replace the cap on the sensor. So we have four of these. We're gonna make sure we get it tight, but not too tight. That's the right. first one, let's go ahead and get the, the balance of these three installed. All right, there it is. All four have batteries, and we're going to expose uh, the, uh, the lens on that. Uh, looks pretty cool. Uh, a little bit on the reflective side. I would think that that would be a non-reflective. However, we'll get into it a little bit more. So I'm going to remove the cap, the factory OE cap that's on the trailer. I'm going to install the uh, jam nut, the jam nut that they provide. So the jam nut goes on all the way down. Uh, but what you'll see in the display is uh, just kind of a view of a motorhome. And since I'm putting this on the trailer, I'm going to really activate these four back tires what here. What you do is you depress. Uh, it's, it, right now it's in monitor mode. I've got to go into learn mode. So you just press both of these keys simultaneously. You'll notice the, uh, the uh, indicator goes to learn mode. Uh, so what they say then at this stage of the game is go ahead and, and screw in the sensor, okay, once the sensor is screwed in, uh, then you get an indicator of what the pressure is on the sensor. But you're getting a full idea of the ease of installing these sensors on your trailer. It really is super simple, and that's really what I wanted to accomplish here. So I'm gonna repeat this step for all four tires, and then I'm gonna come back and share a little bit about what I learned in the process. Okay guys, we have all four tire pressure um, sensors connected, monitoring all four tires. Right now, uh, this tire is at 63 PSI, that's 64. The one opposing this is 62 degree, or 62 
uh, PSI and then 63 PSI on the other side. At this stage of the game, I'm gonna test it and just see what happens if I unscrew this sensor indicating no pressure and that's, that's a blowout and here it is. It's flashing, audible sound. It's telling me I'm at zero PSI. I must have a blowout back there. I'm gonna screw that back on and uh, quickly right back up. 63 PSI. I'm gonna tighten up these jam nuts for now uh, because before we leave for Tennessee, we're gonna come back, obviously, check our tire pressures. Uh, this handy dandy little wrench right here is the wrench that they provide you to go ahead and tighten up this jam nut back here behind the sensor. That jam nut prevents the sensor from backing off of the wheel uh, in travel. Hey, so. you get a little bit better idea of what the display looks like on this thing now. It's in monitoring mode, PSI. Uh, you can see the tire pressures here. It's communicating directly over to the transponder. So it's picking a signal up from there. And then if you uh, toggle here, you're gonna look at the temperatures, 84, 86, 86. So you see the temperatures on the tires and uh, we're back to PSI. So this is done, uh, so we've got, I think, a pretty good little setup to make our way to some of these long distance uh, shows that we have planned yet, the balance of this year and then into next year. I don't have a big list of what I didn't like about the tire minder. I will tell you that Michael's customer service was beyond my expectations. I will say that much for them. I will also say that the install of the sensors was far easier than any other product that I had looked at. So really, really intuitive, great product for that perspective. Uh, as far as a wireless connectivity, uh, really well. The six second burst rate works great. It, it responds very quickly. Uh, the only thing I can say about it was if you don't have RV, you gotta find a place for that transponder or the repeater uh, display. It, it does reflect. Okay, and I, I will say that. However, I could look past that, guys. Uh, the product is my recommendation for tire pressure management system on a trailer or an RV. Yeah. All right, well, there you have it. TPMS is installed. It took a little bit more than 10 minutes. Uh, and I really appreciate you guys tuning in to this episode of Easy Street Garage. Uh, I have been uh, really pretty much flat out car stuff. And so I thought, hey, you know what? We do travel. Uh, it's good to get uh, some, some data out there on how we travel safely uh, with the uh, ESG crew down the road. Uh, we are headed next to uh, Sevier County. That's Sevierville, Tennessee. It's actually Pigeon Forge. So the second harvest food bank fall festival with Steve Spangler, but he plans an amazing event and I can't wait to get down there. We will be leaving on the 7th to get down there for that. There's a bunch of rides included, car show on Saturday. Once again, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Easy Street Garage. Guys, right there, right there is the subscribe button. I don't ask it enough. Please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to build uh, and throw out some content to you that's worthwhile and usable. And, uh, and then at the same time, maybe try to get some uh, return on investment for this channel. So uh, with that said, appreciate you tuning in. Subscribe, thumbs up, toggle the bell for instant notifications. And until next time, this is Easy Street Garage. Boom!